My name is Edebru Bemundia Endurance of the Department of Human Physiology, Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, College of Medicine, Abu Salim University, Ekuma. I'm here to put us through on taste and taste receptor. By way of introduction, what are taste sensation? Taste are the second chemical sense, which is otherwise known as uh, degustation. The first chemical sense is the olfactory. Or taste, for the sense of taste, chemicals called testants are usually involved. And they are detected and transduced by chemical receptors located in the taste bulb. Tastes are a mixture of five elementary taste qualities, which are the salty, the sweet, the sour, the bitter, and the umami taste. The umami taste is easily recognized with the help of monosodium glutamates. There are disorders associated with taste. But they are not life threatening, but they can reduce, they can impair the quality of life and at the same time impair the nutritional status. And this taste disorder, one of the examples is agesia. Agesia is reduction in taste or what we call absence of taste. Then we have hypogesia. Hypogesia is decrease in taste sensitivity. Then we have hypergesia. Hypergesia is increase in taste sensitivity. Then we have dysgesia. Dysgesia is, is otherwise known as um, that is a distortion. That is dysgesia. Distortion in the taste sensation or the absence of taste stimuli. That will take us to the taste board and its receptors. The receptor of taste board, they are subdivided into three categories, majorly. And the three categories, they are one, the supporting cell. Number two is the basal cell. Then number three is the receptor cell. Then for the supporting cell, they are found among the taste receptors. These cells do not respond to taste stimuli and their function are not known up to date. Scientists are still unable to arrive the function of the supporting cells. Then the number two is the basal cell. The basal cells are undifferentiated stem cells that serve as precursor to taste receptor cell. Just as basal cell serve as precursor to the olfactory receptor cell, basal cell undergo continuous replacement of new cells, which are generated approximately every 10 days. So, these basal cell, they are generated and they, they are replaced every 10 days. And they migrate towards the center of the taste board and differentiate into a new receptor cells. And new receptor cells are needed to replace these cells that are slot from the tongue. Stay on the uh, taste receptor cells. The taste receptor cells are the chemical receptors of the taste system. They line the taste board and extend microvilli into the taste pores, meaning the taste has a pores. These microvilli provide a large surface area for detection of chemical stimuli. And at the same time, in contrast to the olfactory system, in which the receptor cells are primarily afferent neurons, in the gastric system, the receptor cells 
are not neurons. They are specialized epithelial cells that function as chemoreceptors, transducing chemical stimuli into electrical signals. Afferent fibers innervate the taste receptor cells and transmit this information to the CNS. That will now take us to the papillae in the taste bulb. There are three types of papillae contained in the taste bulb. The first one is the psychovalent papillae. The second one is the foliate papillae. And the third one is the forgiform papillae. For the psychovalent papillae, they are the largest in size. They are the largest in size, they are fewest in number. And at the same time, the taste cells in the psychovalent papillae are innervated by cranial nerve 7 and cranial nerve 9. For the folate papillae are located on the lateral borders of the tongue. The taste board are located in the folds on the side of the papilla. For the forgiven papilla, they are scattered on the dozer surface of the tongue and they are innervated by cranial nerve 7. That will take us to the taste transduction. For the taste transduction, there are mechanisms involved for taste transduction. For bitter taste, bitter taste will innervate or we bind to G protein couple membrane receptors. And these receptors will further stimulate the inositor 145 transphosphate and at the same time stimulating calcium ions, channels, and this we cause a positive stimulation. That is a positive feedback. And this will open the TROP channels. The TROP channels is otherwise known as the transient receptor pot uh, potential channels. And at the same time, this will not cause depolarization. That is for the bitter taste. Then for the sweet and the umami taste, the same thing will happen. The same mechanism is involved. That is, it will bind to G protein couple receptor, and this will stimulate the open of the IP3 receptor, and it will stimulate calcium ions, and it will open the TRO channels, and thereafter it will cause depolarization of the cell. Why for sour taste? For sour taste. It will stimulate the hydrogen ions. It will stimulate the hydrogen ions. Once the hydrogen ions, the molecules of the hydrogen ions, it will bind to or it will enter through the inner channels. The inner channels is the epithelial sodium channels. So it will bind to it at the same time, causing depolarization. Then for the salty taste, it is, is the molecules of sodium ions. It will bind to in, in, uh, inner channel, which is the epithelial sodium channel, and at the same time causing depolarization. That will now take us to uh, encoding. So before encoding, I want us to summarize mechanism of action of these different taste sensations. In most cases, transduction ultimately results in depolarization of the receptor cells or receptor membrane. That is a depolarizing generator potential. This depolarization leads to action potential. Then the action potential in afferent nerve innervating that portion of the tongue for bitter sensation the taste stand molecules bind to the G protein couple receptor. 
And this receptor on the taste receptor membrane are mediated by an inositol 145 triphosphate. And it will stimulate the calcium, calcium membrane. And it will open so called transient receptor potential. Once this occurs, the TROP channels and result in depolarization. For sweet and umami sensation, molecules bind to different class of G protein, couple receptors on the taste receptor cells, membrane, are mediated by IP3 calcium channels and open TROP channels and causes depolarization. For sour sensation, is mediated by hydrogen ion. Hydrogen ion enter the taste receptor through the epithelial sodium channels. That is the inac leading to depolarization. For salty sensation, is mediated by sodium. And sodium enters the taste receptor through the same epithelial sodium channels leading to directly to depolarization. The encoding taste stimuli. How taste qualities are encoded in the central nervous system is not precisely known. One theory states that there is an, there is an increase across fiber pattern code in which each taste fiber respond based to one stimulus. What I mean by this is that for each taste receptors, when they are stimulated, each taste receptor has a threshold. The threshold for sweet taste is different from the threshold for sour taste. So, the, for the mechanism for the sweet taste, bitter taste may equally be stimulated. But since the threshold for sweet taste is not rich, so the individual will not feel the stimuli or the sensation of sweet taste. He will not feel the, the stimuli of um, a bitter taste. Rather, the individual will feel the stimulus of what? Sweet taste. Because the threshold of sweet taste is rich, but that of bitter taste is not rich. So that is why. The tongue, the taste board, can get stimulated at the same time. But it is the threshold of a particular sensation that is rich that will be interpreted in the cerebral cortex. That will now take us to the taste pathway. As noted, tests begin with transduction of chemical signals in the taste receptor cells, which are located in the taste board, transduction leads to depolarization, receptor potential, which lead to action potential in primary afferent neurons, in a very specific region of the tongue. Different regions of the tongue are innervated. Specific region of the tongue are, the, are, the, are innervated by different cranial nerves. So, let's now take it one by one. There are three cranial nerves that innervate the taste board. One, the posterior one third of the tongue, where bitter and sour sensation are most sensitive, is innervated by the glossopharyngeal nerve. The anterior to third of the tongue, where sweet and umami and salty sensation are most sensitive, is innervated by cranial nerve seven. The back of the throat and epiglottis are innervated by the vagus nerve, that is cranial nerve 10. These three cranial nerves, cranial nerve 7, 9, and 10, enter the breast 10, ascend in the solitary, the solitary tract, 
from the solitary tract, it enters and terminates on the second order neurons. From the second order neurons in the solitary nucleus, it enters the solitary nucleus of the medulla. From the medulla, it enters at the same time, enter the second order uh, neurons. He projects isolaterally to the ventral posterior media nucleus. And from there, it enters the thalamus. That is through the third order neurons. Then from this third order neurons, it will enter the cerebral cortex. It is in this cerebral cortex that is where the sensitivity of taste once each of the test sensation reach your test uh, threshold that it will be interpreted that yes, an individual is having a sweet taste, an individual is having a sour taste, an individual is having a salty taste, an individual is having a bitter taste, an individual is having what? An umami taste. Thank you.